air efficiency. One of the most important things for a drone read and the first principle really of when testing a drone read is that the read was airtight. So we always used to pick out a read that we like, check the strength of the cane, check the diameter and when you got the read you would blow it. When you blow it you're listening to make sure that the read shuts off and doesn't leak air. The whole principle of the bagpipe and the drone is that the reed creates pulses of vibrations. The sound goes up the drone, the pulse goes out the top of the drone. This then creates a vacuum and the pulse comes back down and opens the tongue. This basically happens about 240 times in a tenor drone reed and 110 times in a, in a bass drone reed. So it's important that these reeds when they're closed are air efficient or airtight, otherwise you're leaking air. Also, if you do not achieve this, you won't achieve the higher harmonics and get the balance with your chanter and bring out the lovely notes of the chanter that you want to do. This is the main principle of the drones, is that they enhance and give harmony to your chanter. So, a good test is first of all that the reed should be airtight. So when you blow through it, it's not leaking air. But a great test to test your bagpipe is to cork up your chanter stock, take the chanter out, cork it up, and then blow up your pipes until the drone's cut off. And then leave your pipes and see how long they stay. Now, if you listen to the drones, you should not really hear any air coming through the drones. You might get a very small amount of air coming through. Um, this can happen just slightly, but you do not want to hear like a big hiss that sounds like a hole in your bag. This test checks everything, that your stocks are tight, that your hemp's tight, that the bag's not leaking. So many pipers I know go away, cork up their bag, test their bag, they get the bag nice and tight, then they put the drones in, they never do this check to check that the whole thing is airtight. Now, you should get 30 seconds, 45 seconds at least out of your pipe, some minutes good, and you really want to get that. This is energy that you're not wasting playing your pipes. As I said, these reeds are closed more than they are open. So that means every time they close, if they're not leaking, if they're not airtight and they're leaking air, it's complete energy you're wasting. It also means the reed is not functioning properly and you will not get the higher harmonics. So I'm not sure, we're not timing this, but I think we're well over a minute so far. And you can see that these reeds will eventually come back on. Also notice, when I blew them up, that because the reeds were set up correctly, that all the free drones cut off at the same time. The one drone will come back in eventually by itself and then the other drones will come back in. It is important though when we go on to the setup that you do set up the reeds that they take the same amount of air and shut off at the same time as this will help to keep steady drones when you are <coughs> playing. Um, I'm not quite sure how much time we have that we can, can we wait I might just bring them back on and um, we'll give it another few seconds. Here we go. So, just proving that all three drones were still on, that nothing was switched off, and I think we were well over a minute there, maybe going to two minutes before they came back on. As I say, um, if everything's airtight, you should get close to a minute. Um, with your pipes. This is a good check for you to go and do now.